He ran out of the water suddenly and took the man by the elbow. The beast fastened his teeth in his pate and dragged him into the water. The man took hold of a stone by chance in his way, and calling to mind he had a knife in his jacket, he took it out and gave a thrust of it to the beast, which thereupon gave way from him into the lake. The water about him was all bloody, whether from the beast's blood or his own, or from both, he knows not. Hey guys, welcome to episode four of Counting Cryptids. Dun dun dun. We didn't have to get this out of the way at the top. Yeah. The pronunciation of this one. So I've always read this when I saw it. I was just like, I'm gonna read this as an American would. It's not call it an Dobarchu. American beast. Yeah. Do- Dobarchu is how I've apparently always... not how it is pronounced, and it annoyed me to hear people pronounce it other ways. I didn't even like listen to what somebody would say it was called i just read it what it was supposed to be called because i'm an american you want to take a stab at it uh do war coup do war coup yeah do, do war coup or do bar coup do bar chew however you prefer uh i'm gonna try to re- say do war coup the entire episode but i guarantee you do bar chew is gonna slip in there i'm probably just gonna refer to it as water hound or hound of deep Yes, uh, Dowarku comes from ancient Ireland, where the Gaelic word translates roughly to water hound or hound of the deep. In my notes, I somehow managed to put deep of the deep. I saw that. I was reading <laughs> that. I was like, that deep. doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't <laughs> understand. And then I started doing my own research. I was like, now it makes a lot of sense. I'm just stupid. But yeah, like I said, comes back. All the way from ancient Ireland in Irish folklore. Tons of stories from then. Descriptions and whatnot. And then more recently in 2003. Which still was quite a while ago. 2018, which is ridiculous. Yeah, 15 years since I was able to find, I guess. I don't know. Maybe there's some local newspapers or news sources or something that can have some other information that I was not able to find. Yeah, if you're from Ireland and you're like, this is pretty prevalent in your area, let us know. Because that would be pretty interesting, actually. I also want to apologize for any uh, any other pronunciations I screw up in this episode. A lot of Irish words and especially Irish names. Oh. I looked up some. I've, I'm already seeing one I didn't look up, so bear with me. Eh. I, uh, you're forgiven. What did you think, like, when we wrote the list of, like, what we're going to, the topics, our list of topics, what did you picture the do Warku as? I thought of it, in my mind, before doing any, like, actual research, it was more like the, um, it was more similar to the Mokli Membe in my head. Like, it okay. was more, like, dinosaur-like or some like a, a serpent, like some sort of large... Prehistoric Yeah, beast. some like a big uh, salamander or something. Yeah, I think... Because I, th- I had just, like, seen, like, photos of it and just, like, done, like, teeny little bits of things and... Yeah, it's been here and there, and I think, like, one of the first images on Google, like, a Google search is, like, this crazy-looking blue, like, no no hair, like almost reptilian dog thing which looks awesome but it from all the descriptions i've read there it's that's not completely accurate even though it looks fucking badass yeah i definitely like that uh reiteration of the the doarku if you don't know what the doarku is though it is a semi-aquatic cryptid um found in 
Ireland surprise. So it's uh, in not not only Ireland. I had uh, inhabiting the depths of lakes, rivers, and seas of the British Isles. So just okay. kind of that entire area, not only okay Ireland. Yeah, a lot of locks, locks and lakes. Those are the same thing. Are they? I think so. Uh, it's commonly referred to as Ireland's, or it's the Ireland's version of the Loch Ness monster, and yeah. also referred to as the Irish crocodile. Irish crocodile, I saw that quite a bit. Yeah, which I think that came from it. The size estimate that it was about. There's some variations, but I think they they came to the consensus that they think it was about seven feet long. Yeah, in most stories, I, I think it like attacks very crocodile like jumping out of the water and dragging clamping. stuff yep. back into the water. Yeah, that's that's classic monster move. I like it. Alligators are monsters. They are just, monsters. Just real monsters. Alligators and crocodiles are just fucking monsters. They're yeah, they're large reptilian monsters. Side note, I feel like I feel like I'd be okay with killing one of those and not feel bad at all. An alligator? Yeah. Like, if I was going to hunt something to eat, I feel like that would be the one to do because it's a literal monster. Hunting it would be more terrifying and be way more dangerous, in theory. Yeah, like, you could, like, swamp men. Was it swamp people on Discovery Channel? They wrestle. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I was reading something how it's all bullshit. But I'm sure it is. I just feel like I don't. I don't think I would feel bad. I mean, it ate that kid at Disneyland or something. They're just. I get. And I was like, "Yep, that's just what it does." But like, it's literally just a monster. Why can't I? Don't know. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wonder what a crocodile or alligator tastes like. Uh, people eat. I'm sure they do. Yeah, you I've can never make never had one stuff out of the skin. Yeah, I'm gonna make myself some boots or a belt. Yeah, see, a belt would probably be the way to go because then it's like not super apparent, and then it's just like, no, I would, I would get a whole suit. You go like all out, uh, gross. Crocodile skin suit, just because be like I fucking wrestled an alligator. I wouldn't wrestle one alligator. For the record, crocodiles and alligators face. aren't the same thing, and I've been referring to them interchangeably. Oh yeah. I just want to put that I, out there. I, I, I am I not that, that stupid. I started that, so that's <laughs> I am aware of that as well. Caiman are also different. Hey. Which it, <laughs> so we got know. to that it was around seven feet long. Yeah. Uh <laughs> very crocodile like. I heard it can uh I read that it can travel great distances in water and on land. Yeah, very quickly. Yes. Uh known for speed, aggression, and ferocious appetite, typically in refer- reference to human flesh. Uh, it's, you know, sometimes described as like a half dog, half fish type cryptid. I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to picture like a mer dog. That uh, doesn't seem very scary. Uh, okay, honestly, when you say that, all I can picture is Vaporeon for anybody who knows there you what go. Pokemon is. So Perfect. There's that. Yeah, I, I hadn't thought of that the entire I'm, time. I'm getting a, a Vaporeon vibe out of it now from having done a little bit of research. I like that. I'm going to, I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm sticking with that one. Forget all those uh, other ones. We'll get into some other ones too because there's, there's you a got few. It, folks. That's the end of the show. Yeah. Thanks. It's a Pokemon. That's all it was. Myth busted. I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I've also uh, heard that it's been described as like a large, you know, dog creature with like duck like feet, like even oh, in web color. Feet. Yeah. I saw, I saw orange feet somewhere as well as, as well. Yeah, so. As well, as well, as well. But yeah, I don't know. That that just looks out of place to me. I think that would be pretty funny. I saw some weird suggestions for a cross between a giant otter and a hound, which kind of just sounds like an otter to me. Yeah. Um, if you just otters like... apparently are terrifying, uh, like super rapey. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Like really rapey and like really aggressive. I recently found out they're not like. Like, they're really cute, and so you're yeah. like, oh, cool, an otter. But apparently, they're just fucking savages. Uh, yeah, I could believe that. I know they, like, crack, crack shells on their stomach, and... Oh, that's they, adorable. Uh, so but... when they go to... When they have babies, they take the babies out with them, and they, like, 
they like get them all cleaned up and like fluff their fur so that way there's more air then they like let them just like float while they go and find stuff and come back yeah because they can't like swim or do anything but they're more vulnerable on the shore or something so they just yeah yeah they just fluff them up and let them float it's crazy that's actually awesome they're pretty smart but yeah i guess they're i just imagine them like instead of shells like just cracking skulls (laughs) <laughs> that's pretty metal yeah. um i also saw a suggestion that it was just a seal and also saw the term super otter used super otter so yeah. i wrote that down you showed me a picture right before that that definitely would describe a super otter that yeah super otter for sure and uh in relation to that um some stories attribute how like how the dobarku dobarku i already fucked it up the water hound yes um, came into existence is it's like the seventh cub of an otter. Somehow oh. it being the seventh cub makes it a fucking giant monster. Like the seventh cub of a seventh, the seventh cub. Mm, sure. The, the seventh son of the seventh son. That's a thing. Something. That might be a thing. That sounds demonic, but yeah, yeah it's, that it's, could it's be, something. could be where that comes from. I had found that there's uh, typically a, two associated like one associated with another yes uh, and so when you kill one it lets off like some eerie high-pitched whistle to warn the other who will then come to avenge that's my we, we've done it i had to do it again sorry i was talking while you did it yeah this, this is uh what i pictured this scream as it's almost pterodactyly yeah that was that was that was pretty good Sorry if that blew your speakers. Please send us all of your no arku. <laughs> Please make annoying noises and send them to Connor. I would really like that. And maybe I'll put them in the show. <laughs> we're just gonna totally, do an episode of just like different animals. We're gonna do our, we're gonna do our season wrap up. And, and is this we'll gonna just be it's just gonna be noises. listener noises? Does this become the worst podcast of all time? Welcome to Counting Cryptids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that should be our slogan. This is becoming the worst, the worst podcast. <laughs> uh, so we talked a little bit about where it might have come from, you know, being the seventh, seventh otter cub, whatever. Um, there's also a story in 7th century Scotland where the, um, the Irish missionary St. Columba claimed to encounter and challenge the infamous Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. When you say challenge, I'm assuming that means, like, he plans to kill it? Yeah, so there's a a dude getting eaten by the Loch Ness Monster, like, in his jaws, getting torn up. And this St. Columba is, like, doing some witchcraft and saves him somehow So with, with his witchcraft. But uh, it kills the Loch Ness Monster or one of the Loch Ness Monsters. I, it's some sort of... Damn it! We almost maybe needed to preface this episode with a Loch Ness with a Nessie episode. Yeah, I haven't done a whole lot of research on the Loch Ness monster, which is so this sad. This uh, Saint Columba is with uses some witchcraft to kill whatever this uh, lake monster. Yeah, he kills it, kills person. it, and then somehow it has Nessie has offspring, which come to. Ireland to avenge their mother's desk, death. Avenge their mother's death. Come to Ireland like they weren't there. They like they had like a week of everything was cool and then shit hit the fan. Or it wasn't like immediately. I think they're like I don't know. I think they just like dispersed to try and find Saint Columba and tear him up, kill him. I don't understand what this has to do with Doarku then. The, these are the Doarku, the offspring. The Doarku is the offspring of Loch Ness Nessie? monster, yeah. <laughs> Set out to seek revenge. Obviously, they apparently don't have very good eyesight. They've been attacking people all the time. So are they just really small versions? Like they take hundreds of years to grow into like a plesiosaur? Perhaps. Hutabasaurus. Hutabasaurus. They, so yeah, they could be small Foodabasaurus. Foodabasaurus. However you pronounce that. Small Loch Ness Monsters. <laughs> so I'd be screwed if we were time traveling. I'd put like 
seventh century and I'd i think end up you in need the wrong to enter era. like more specific <laughs> things than just like Generally. take me to the like a wednesday in the seventh century like otherwise why would you invent time travel ah shit I'm it's a thousand the first years iteration off. of time travel and they just like uh oops <laughs> i just need to be in this general time zone this i just need to be out of where i'm at now can you take me back 150 years ago i wonder if they came in eggs side note eggs most dinosaurs yes. that I know of laid eggs. I don't know if there was any. Those aren't bird. technically dinosaurs. They're marine reptiles. But True. reptiles typically lay eggs, if not in all instances lay eggs. I think in most, as well as the, uh, what's that mammal that lays eggs? There's one. Uh, there's a few that give birth to live young, but most reptiles hatch from eggs. Okay. I'm just going to assume they came from eggs. I would as well. What if you came Unless across? Unless it's an otter. Yes. Hmm. So there's our mammals. See. I wonder if they need to come up to the surface to breathe. Reptiles have to do that. They can't breathe. Yeah, reptiles have to do that as well. They can just hold their breath for longer. I think otters can hold their breath for a long time, though. I bet they can hold their breath for quite a, a, a long period of time, because they got to dive to the bottom of, you know, the ocean or the lake and get shit from down there. Eight minutes. That's impressive. Okay. Longer than I can hold my breath. Oh, I think I'd pass out after a minute. I bet you get longer than that. Alligator says four to fifteen minutes. Damn, fifteen minutes. Fifteen. Damn. The average dolphin species can stay underwater for as long as eight to ten minutes. Some as long as fifteen. That seems like such a short period yeah. of time for aquatic animal. Yes, for something that literally lives. Look, look, in look the up water. whales. That's what I'm doing next, man. I feel like that would be a lot of energy wasted to like have to okay. go up to the surface. Sperm whales make some of the longest dives achieved by mammals, while some, with some lasting up to 90 minutes, while dolphins and other whales can stay underwater for 20 minutes. The longest time a human has held their breath underwater is 19 minutes, Holy set by a Swiss shit. freediver called Peter Collat. What, where's this dude? What's that dude uh, that JRE had on his show? He's been on a few other op- oh, podcasts. Okay, hang on. Um, Should we go to a commercial break while we figure this out? Sure. What commercial break? I don't know. I'm going to put some commercial music in, and then I'll make up a fake commercial about uh, something. Wim Hof. Wim Hof. There's a Wim Hof Academy um, not sponsoring this show, but if he was, that'd be pretty dope. Um, go check out Wim Hof, um, dot com. Wim Hof was the guy. I know. Wim Hof oh, Academy. you're making an ad for That's Wim my Hof? ad for Wim Hof. Oh, what the fuck? And now back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> so we never actually left the show? No, that was an advertisement. Pre-recorded advertisement that just happened to play into right where we were at in the show. If you don't know who Wim Hof is, he's not a cryptid, but he might as well be. <laughs> but he's... <laughs> I get what you're saying, but he's real. He's a real He's definitely person. real. I mean, are you saying Bigfoot's not real? I'm saying I don't know if Bigfoot's real. We haven't done a Bigfoot episode. We I haven't, haven't done gone either. to look yeah. for a Bigfoot. I know that I watched a that... fucking documentary recently where Homeboy that filmed it was full of shit the entire time. Yeah, I watched that one as well. My yeah, dad was like, my dad made me watch it, and I started watching it. I made it 15 minutes in and quit, and he's like, no, right at like 17 minutes it gets good. I'm like, okay, fine. And there was a couple of things. I'm like, yeah, that's interesting, but like, if you're doing this and you're like, this is exactly what's going to happen. Then you come back the next day and you're like, see, it happened. Why didn't you put like eight trail cams yeah. or like any, any sort of anything there to catch something? Because they can sense those things. They're multidimensional beings. All right. All right. Jacob. All, right all right. Here you go. Pour a ga- couple of gallons of water on the fucking floor. And then you'll have a bunch of footprints when something comes in to take your goddamn apples. I like apples. He's already got fucking cameras set up by him anyway. He should have just positioned a different one nearer to them. Yeah. I agree. That that document was bullshit. It threw a log at me. You threw that log at yourself, stupid face. Yeah. Do you just see those apples that you can't see in the dark? Okay. The apples was weird. Something definitely took the apples, but I can't prove that he didn't have somebody else out there with him. I can't prove it wasn't a bear. I can't prove it wasn't a raccoon. I can't prove it wasn't a squirrel. Yeah, why wouldn't you have cameras closer to those why apples? Why wouldn't you have... Because that's like your whole thing. It's like, I'm going to set up these apples. That's my only thing. It's going to come to these apples. Was it even like night vision? It was like thermal. 
My dad's like, you can see the hand. I'm like, no, you can't. He stands up at the exact time it goes to take the one. His beard's in the way. You can see something does it. You can't tell what it is. I don't know why that every every tree in the forest doesn't have a camera on it. This is the 21st century. Okay, another one. Couldn't you just poison one of the apples? And kill it? Yeah. Well, you know what poison is effective against it. Just puts a bunch of rat poisoning in the apple. Just poison the fuck out of it. Put fucking a bunch of tranquilizers in it. Something. It eats an apple, it fucking pass out. It's sleeping in one spot. You fucking follow the tracks right to where it is. Boom, you got a Bigfoot. I'm telling you, fucking this... Fucking prove me wrong. You can't can say you be... know without a shred of doubt, 100%, that you've seen a big... This guy saw a Bigfoot because you did not see anything. You're making ridiculous assumptions and claims based on anecdotal evidence at best, and that's not even what it is. Like, is. I'm holding, holding down the uh, multidimensional Sasquatch theory. That explains away everything. They're multidimensional. They do whatever they want. They're on a fourth plan we don't even understand. Show your work. I have no, no work to show. I'm not on that plane. So what I'm going to say is that the simplest solution is usually the right one. Or was yes. it the, the one with the least assumptions is usually the right? The easiest to come up with. I Either know, way, something. I feel like what I said made sense both times. And I'm just being an yeah. asshole. Oh, I know. <laughs> In order to make claims like that, I feel like it's, you know what I mean? Like, you're, where are these conclusions coming from? Maybe we'll find that when we do a fucking yeah. Sasquatch episode. Back to 20 Nomar minutes of who? So that, that first story that I shared with uh, St. Columba was in the 7th century. 10 centuries later. Uh, in Glenade County, Le Trim, sorry, um, there's a headstone with the depiction of what looks to be a dobarku, dobarku, or a water a hound, otter, an otter. It looks pretty otterish. An to me. otter hound, otter hound. I could get on board with a water hound. An otter hound. I'm actually scared of otters now. Yeah, man. But the uh, headstone supposedly belongs to a 17th century woman named Caranya. Look that one up. Um, she was attacked and killed by a Doarku when she was down by the lake or a lock cleaning her clothes. Granye, you know, cleaning her clothes. Uh, her husband, who was up by the house, heard her scream and ran down there and jumped on the beast, stabbed it right in the heart. Um, it died, and as it was dying, it let out one of those infamous screams. Let's hear your scream again, Connor. God, fucking continuity. Nailed it. Um, that alerted its mate, who was in the water, waiting for dinner, I would assume. Waiting for a nice Grania dinner. Actually sounds pretty good. Not that it's a woman. Grania <laughs> sounds like a good meal. <laughs> so her husband killed it. They let out a scream. And uh, the other one came out. And attacked the man, chased him all the way up to the uh, the house. The Doarku kills the horse, and uh, Branye's husband kills the Doarku, the second one. And they get buried right there where they died, apparently. And there is said to be a second headstone where a Doarku is buried. Ooh. So they if you. Yeah. It. Yeah. So in the Con- Conwall Cemetery is where you can find her headstone as well as up you know, by the house there's also another. That's just so interesting. I wanna go there. I want I wanna go I wanna go to Ireland one. But while I'm there I'm gonna check out this. Uh yes. Definitely. Um I had there was a, a Patrick Toahall, uh who supposedly dated the stone to He took it out on a date? Yeah, he dated the stone. Uh, and they got some au gratin. They just went steady. Um, it wasn't anything... <laughs> nothing wait, nothing going too steady serious. Is something serious, I think. I think going steady is like... But they never tied the knot. Going just steady a is like you're dating, I think, is what that means. Yeah. I don't sure. know. I, I wasn't alive in the 60s, so I'm not 100% sure. Either way, uh, he <laughs> supposedly dated the stone like to the day, which I don't know how... 
that works, but allegedly dated it to September 24th, 1722. And was he alive? I don't know. More recently? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I see what you did. I see what you're saying. He dated the stone I to gotcha. figure out. I thought you meant like he put the date on the stone with the <laughs> metal. No. He used technologies he to used, date the stone. He allegedly used science to figure out science. when the stone uh, was made. Yeah. Uh, supposedly, it actually happened Ooh. on September 27th of 1722. That's so really that's like specific. really close to when he claimed that it, it was. You know how somebody walks with those flippers on? Like a human? I just picture a dog with flippers on walking all ridiculous. Like it has flippers on. Honestly, I'm just thinking it's a big otter. Like I got another one. God, some of these, they look like fucking savage. This one's sneaking up on a crocodile. An otter. A, yes. A real otter. Yes. It's well, an actual photo. Look at the cojones on that guy. It's like the same size as it, too. It's just a fucking otter. Is it a baby crocodile? It, it, the croc- There's two of them. There's two otters going at this crocodile. It turned around, snapping at one that jumped away. Dude. They're I'm gonna post. Savage, I'm gonna dude. fucking try to remember to link some of these. If you learned anything today, it's that this is a real thing and it just means otter. It actually, I was reading. <laughs> we've got. A, well, I think one more story. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll finish this story in 2003. My bad. Real quick, it's nothing super spectacular. It's so. Uh, it, Sean Coracon Cor Coran and his wife uh, witnessed a beast on Omi Island in 2003. Um, he claims that it was a Doaraku, and it swam across the large lake with incredible speed, and then uh, leapt onto a large boulder and let, a, let out a haunting screech, like you've heard me do, because assuming what it probably sounds like, and then disappeared back into the water and described it as like a dog-like creature with Flippers. It's a fucking otter. Yeah. Are those pups? Those are just otters. I can definitely see a, like, loud, high-pitched squeal from an otter, though. Yeah, like, it's doing that little squeak. It's like, hey, there's just, like, it was, like, in a zoo, you know what I mean? There's people that feed it. Pretty tame. So it's probably like, what up? Yeah, like, they seemed like they were, like, more (laughs) being friendly than anything. It didn't seem aggressive. But yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna write it off as an otter yet. Okay. I think I have written it off as an otter. Yeah, I think if so. If you can if you can convince me otherwise still. I'm trying to hold out. I feel like the first three we've done have been like this is actual horseshit. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot of that. Um it seemed so I'm not a it annoys me because I want to classify a cryptid as something other than a cryptid because I want to be like well maybe it was just like some unknown species I'm like okay but that's then what a cryptid would be if people are like no it's not real it's not yet recognized by science right so I mean I guess I'm not totally like you know what I mean but I feel like it'd be if it is it's like an offshoot of an otter like a giant otter that they just like oh yeah apparently like they used to be a little bit bigger it was a different genus or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd be curious to see if, you know, maybe in that area there's a lot of uh, food for an otter with not a lot of, like, predators, and it just allows it to grow exponentially. Well, if it's eating people, it's eating fucking well, dude. Like, if it's already a big otter, yeah, and it's swooping up and s- snaking people. So that I- dude got lucky that he had a knife in his pocket and found a rock. And stabbed it right in the Yeah. Heart. Fucking terrifying. No special medals, though. Yeah, it was just just a knife. Probably. You can kill it with whatever. Yeah. So it's again seems Stainless like steel. Maybe it seems like this one. The stories, if the stories are real, these of these are actually occurring. Like, yeah, it's not like this story is real, and it's like yeah, but was this guy full of shit? Like the stories definitely could be real. I haven't caught one other than the the original Saint Columba versus Nessie story, where he yeah, used... that like witchcraft. Yeah, he uses some witchcraft. Yeah, I don't know about that. Holds up some crosses. That, a little bit more. that was weird. But, um, Holds up some crosses. Lightning strikes. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, 
we've been talking about otters quite a bit. Yes. Um, in a book called A Social History of Ancient Ireland, Doarku is the general word for an otter. So uh, honestly, these you know these dating back to the seventh and seventeenth century could just be misinterpretations of text. Well, in the I think we used for the intro quote, the the book was a description of the West. Cannot. Cannot. Yeah. By Roderick O'Flaherty. That's that's the one. Uh, the the guy, the man, saw that Doarku swimming towards him, and initially thought it was an otter, and then went down and came back up, and then grabbed him and drug him into the lake. So he saw it. He's like, "Oh, it's just an otter," and then it came up and attacked him. And then he killed. Him. He's like, "Fuck, that wasn't an otter." So that seems weird, because he recognized what an otter is, and then in that telling of it, they have the word otter. He thought it, he mistook it for this, but it was actually this. another thing. And that's a second-hand story from what I can tell. Okay, fair enough. Which, I mean, it, it could still be true, but... Maybe it just meant, like, angry otter. Yeah. You can find it. Me in a head... Like, underneath a headstone of, like, a... I don't know, an otter. I'm buried underneath this otter headstone. See, but the word otter is going to change over the course of the next 4,000 years. 1,000 years. And then people will be freaking out. And then they'll be like, whoa, what, what killed this guy? Something called fu- an otter? What the fuck is an otter, dude? That sounds terrifying. Because it actually does sound terrifying. Otters are actually kind of terrifying. A giant otter? How big is a giant otter? I would like to know what the, the uh, largest otter looks like, looks like. What the size is. Because if you got like a four foot otter, yo, can reach up to six feet. Damn, four feet would freak me out. Six feet? That fits the size, man. They're saying around seven. It was about seven feet. Okay. You can't see me throwing a towel in, but I'm throwing an a towel Amazonian in. giant can reach up to six feet. Damn, that's a different part of the world, but still, that doesn't that doesn't completely rule it out. That right. means like if it, I don't know. If otters exist, why wouldn't a giant otter? I fold. It's a, yeah? You I, I haven't heard one story that's been like, this is definitely not an otter. Everything points to otter. I didn't realize an otter can just like take a person. I'm pretty big, too. What, what's the normal size of like a zoo otter? Like three feet, maybe? So that's, a, that's not a giant otter. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like most people, if they're familiar with otters, they're familiar with these smaller Those otters. Little, like maybe two and a half feet long with like a foot and a half a tail. Yeah, so but if you're out in the, the wild, I definitely can understand if you see a fucking six foot otter hop out of the goddamn fucking water and so squeal. Sea otters, uh, a female is typically 3.3 to 4.6. A male is 3.9 to 4.9. Which is still pretty large. Five foot, yeah. So that doesn't seem... It's an otter. I'm sorry. Doarku <sighs> means otter. It's a fucking otter. Can get up to about 100 pounds, too. That, that is that a, size. That is, that so... is a pretty large dog, like... You got 150, if it's two feet bigger, you know what I mean? You got 150 pounds, seven foot long otter hauling ass at you, like, fast as hell. They got thumbs, kind of. They got flippers. I'm glad you're here to do all this researching. An otter, so they, they live in like a den together? Right. Uh, an otter den is called a holt or a couch. A couch. I really like that. That makes them sound the way collect- too cute, though. Collective nouns for otters are bevy, family, lodge, Romp, rump of otters, or when in water, raft. A raft of otters. That's terrifying. I hate to get down off the fence because that first picture I saw on Google, I was like, "That's badass." Yeah, for sure. Looks sweet. Um, I don't know if we talked about this a whole lot, but most of them like said they didn't have a whole lot of like fur. They're pretty furless, uh, but. I think I think it's just that illusion it kind of gives off as it's short furs. hair when it's wet. It's really glossy. It looks like it's yeah. it looks like a lizard. It's something, you know what I mean? It's so yeah, it seems like a goddamn otter for people who weren't Was it just a weird couple of weird looking otters? Coloration was different on them than the ones that they had seen. 
It was bigger. I think I think it's just the size factor. It's just the translation has been lost over time. Yeah, damn. And dude, it's just God. miscommunicated at what it was. Maybe that guy. Okay, so the guy in 2003 did see one then because he saw an otter. Yeah, he saw an otter. He's not reporting anything different. He just he just reported seeing it. What he it. said sounds an awful lot like an otter. Yeah, to jump up on a boulder. I mean, people, they it do that. It went at the down, zoo. hopped, it to, got speed, came up, shot up, landed on a rock, made a noise, and jumped back in. They could swim seven miles an hour. About. I feel like maybe I'm thinking of like a like a, a, a groundhog or something where they kind of poke their heads up. That's what I picture it doing on the this rock. Kind of back on their two legs. Yeah, I would picture that as well. You know, calling out to its family, or just uh, some sort of territory thing. This is my boulder. Yeah, or lake, or area. My lock. Section. My lock. It's... Rulers of the lock. That, that sounds the... like a great movie. Rulers of the lock. It's going to be about otters, hordes oh, of otters. I kind of thought that was going to be some sort of. Indiana Jones thing. Why did it have to be snakes? They're, they're otters. <laughs> There's no snakes. Maybe some water moccasins. Why did it have to be water moccasins? Do me a favor real quick. What's up? I, I should have come across this, and maybe I did come across this in uh, my research, but is otter, like, are they prevalent? Like, do they live in Ireland? I, I'm almost certain they do, because why would they have a name for otter? in ancient Irish language, but... The otter is regarded as one of Ireland's most charismatic native animal species. Native mammal species, excuse me. The otter is highly secretive, and although widespread, people tend to only get rare glimpses of these species in the wild. Uh, however, otters that live on the coast do need access to some freshwater habitat to bathe. Okay, I think that just seals the fucking deal. <clears throat> yeah. The fact that they aren't seen that often like, so people are like, "Oh, I've heard of otters." They're like, the, or like they're these they, cute little animals. Yeah, exactly. And then when like a actual big one shows up and it's all black and wet and angry and fucking hungry, and, and it, it bites you on you, your elbow, you get a fucking half a glimpse of it because you're down there washing shit and it, or you're walking past, you're like, "Oh, cool, an otter." Then you look the other way, you bend down to tie your shoe, and it grabs your elbow and drags you in. Like, I believe it. Fuck. What, feet- what I've learned is that otters are way more savage than I ever thought. Even though I knew that they were brutal. I knew they're, yeah. I had an idea that they were pretty brutal. The specifics, not so much. The fucking size, I was not aware of. I was not aware of the size of a giant one, or just a regular sea otter. That's bigger than I thought they were, too. Damn. I would imagine some of that's in the tail. Yeah. Pretty girthy tails. The sea, yeah. Sea otters. Giant. Just a, a, a giant fucking big sea one. Otter, a big one. Another disappointing conclusion to counting cryptids. Honestly, I think I don't. I don't think this one is disappointing. I think this is actually cool. I think it's cool because this one's actually like a real thing that's just being misinterpreted as being something a little bit more grandiose than it actually is. You're just attributing all these crazy things to something that you're like trying not to familiar with. You're like, yeah. oh, what the fuck is? But it's something that you know what is. Like you're right. very familiar with an otter. It's just, just you're learning something new about an otter. Except everything not, else is like this. Doesn't seem beast. like it's really a thing, or like it's just a wolf standing up, or a dog with mange. Like you know yeah. what I mean? Like Chupacabra was. Trash. Chupacabra was super disappointing. Like this is again maybe disappointing, but I kind of think this one is cool instead of just like somebody just misidentified some sick dog. Yeah, we killed this dog because it was sick. I mean. Probably Somebody good buried an otter because it fucking murdered people. I mean, that's metal as fuck. Yeah, dude. Maybe they'd call him... Again, maybe it's just like a special name for the otter, like if it does something, you know what I mean? Yeah. This one is a fucking flesh-eating or if otter. It's, yeah, it's just something like that. They just called it something else. Got anything else? So, a Miss L.A. Walkington? L.A. Walkington. Uh, w a l k i n g t o n. I was just expecting like L L period A, a period. Walkington. L a Walkington. So Miss Walkington. Uh, in a 1896 edition of the Journal of the Royal Society of 
Antiquaries of Ireland. She described it as a half wolf dog, half fish. Hmm. Where did I put it? Uh, her her sighting was allegedly corroborated by several other eyewitnesses, but some of the witnesses described the creature more like an otter with a short white coat, black tip ears, and a dark swath across his back. You just you just all hyped up on this. You just all hyped up on this. You know, you're scared. That you didn't look it. like any otter I've ever seen. Cause yeah, it's fucking... six feet fucking long. I don't know if I can Google that. I was going to look up a wet otter versus a dry otter, but this is my work computer, and I feel like typing that in might kind of be weird. <laughs> yeah, like when they're all fluffy and fuzzy, it looks like a totally different animal than when they're like fucking... Slick their hair is all wet. sleek back and wet. and, <sighs> and... Yeah, see, sometimes they look like they have cute faces, and sometimes they have skinny, angry faces. It seems it's just a misidentification of an otter. Sorry, folks. Sorry. I hope you at least learned something about otters today. I mean, I did. Uh, yeah, I learned things about otters, and unfortunately, I didn't learn much about Dowarkus. Well, technically, you did because they're one and the same. Is where I am placing my bet. If I am having to put money on that, money down. Yeah, it's 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 a large otter. I. I don't know how to argue if it's then real, because I know that otters are real, so I... Yeah, otters are real, a doarku is an otter. Otters are real, I guess. Is there some sort of monster otter that exists, do you think? Mm. I'm sure, like, there has to be one biggest otter, one meanest otter, yeah. one alpha heaviest male. otter. Not even, like, an alpha male, just one that is, like, this one's a half an inch longer than that one. And this is officially like one. There's an one person in the world is the tallest person in the world, right? And they're freakishly tall. Whether or not they know that they're actually the tallest or not, it's just like, yeah, I'm one of the tallest. But like, they could actually be the tallest kind of thing. Animals don't have a way to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is there some super angry like m- mutant otter that is larger, a little bit big with some gigantism or something that's just extra savage? I would say yes. I I could definitely see that. Maybe. Uh, certain aggressions, you walk into its territory, it just gets pissed and attacks. So is there's like families a... of them, so that could explain having multiple of them at one couch? time. Yes, a couch of otters attacking a person. Definitely could see it. I would like to see what the difference of those words would be for the Doarku versus otter. Like a couch of otter. I don't, couch would of it be Do-Arcus? a couch of Doarku, or would it be like a, a, a dam? A dam of Doarku. I think I think it would have to be verified as real before they gave it these. But names. if it's just another word for otter, ultimately, true. Yeah, you can if if you could use it interchangeably. I don't know. I mean, ugh, shit. If it's the same animal, can you use the same? I would say yeah, the same thing. I use the word glaring in. I don't know what the number has to be to use it, but glaring is for cats. I oh. have two cats, and when my wife got up this morning, glaring they both wandered over to her. I was like, "Oh, you have a group of cats coming to greet you." I was like, "Wait." A glaring! You have a glaring of cats coming to greet you. (laughs) So many cats! I don't know what the number has to be, but I've never got to use glaring in a sentence, so that was fun. That is uh, also new information for me. Really? Glaring? glaring. I used to have a book that... Oh, no, shit. It was Josh that had a book of all the things that were doing. It's actually a really interesting book. I need to find it and pick one up. I think Josh listened to the show, so shout out, Josh. Hey, shout out. If you made it to the end of the episode, Josh, I know you follow us on social media. Thanks for that, too. He's at least voted. We gotta gotta get down to this 1v1 nonsense. Yes. It's not nonsense, Jacob. Okay, excuse me. This week, obviously, we did the Doar Coup, and last week was episode... Three, the Chupacabra. The El Chupacabra. The El Chupacabra. El Chupacabra. The the Chupacabra. The La El Chupacabra. The the Goat Sucker. The 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 Goat Sucker, yes. (laughs) You, yeah, that's all right. So in a fight, uh, allegedly fair fight, no outside advantages other than just like I am this creature, I am that creature. Who do you think wins? Which one? Chupacabra, Doaku. Uh, do, I think Chupacabra wins. Really? If we're if it's if it's not a dog oh, with I, mange. Yeah, yeah. We can assume that it's it's the greater of the two. Right. In this instance, Chupacabra. because that's like some other 
that's the some other thing altogether. I think you're right. We spent maybe a little bit too much time focusing on that in the last episode, and that's maybe where I got off the fence in the wrong spot. But uh, all right, so you're you're saying Doar, or uh, excuse me, uh, Chupacabra? Uh, yeah, my vote's for Chupacabra. So I we had talked about this before, and I think my money was on Doarku, but. There's a small part of me that feels like if it can suck a goat dry, it could suck an otter dry. That sounds uh, mildly dirty. All right, uh, this is not a bestiality podcast, Connor, so... <laughs> I mean, if it's animal on animal, I... is that bestiality still? In my... So the... Oh, shit. But they're not the same species. I don't know how that works. It... Off topic. Off topic. <laughs> Bring it back <laughs> to the 1v1. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> weird mental images I don't want in my head. Uh, <laughs> it's tough. I think I think the Doarku is more savage. Yeah, and it would have that um, thirst for blood. Yeah, I think the the Doarku would be, and especially because they uh, the Doarku is in twos. I will allow that in this, if you will. I yeah. think that's fair. If one of them dies, there's another one. So if it does any amount of damage to the Chupacabra, the Chupacabra is weakened and then has, has to back up. Has to do another one because that's part of the lore with Doarku. So I can't ignore the fact that there's two of them. So that and one, regardless has to be prevalent if it's a, an otter or not, I, I think that's still a plausible scenario. If an otter, if a, a sea otter that is, even if it's not like a if say four and a half feet, foot long sea otter. Two of them versus, I don't think the chupacabra was supposed to have been that large, or that fast. No, it had some weird, some weirdness about it. But you don't have a ton of specifics. Whereas the doarku just seemed like it was fast and savage enough that I, I, I my money's on doarku in a fight. I kind of drug that out a lot longer than I wanted to. Uh, you, you made sorry. some good points though. My money still chup. Chupacabra. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't think you're necessarily wrong. This is a tough one because, again, if it can suck a goat, it can suck an otter. It can suck an otter. That's a T-shirt right there, man. All right, that's what we think. Here's what you thought. All right, you got the results pulled up, Connor. The results are pulled up. Yes. You have Facebook or Twitter up? Uh, or first, I've got Twitter. We have Twitter. There was some fucking action on Twitter this week, you guys. Shout out. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. 15 votes in the final count. We got uh, 33% voting for Mr. Dogman. And two-thirds 60... of you thought that the Chupacabra would win versus the Dogman. Yep. Yes, sir. This... I... Yeah. I I don't know what we missed when we did the Chupacabra or where where our heads were at when we finished that one. Apparently, y'all thought differently. So, yeah, did we go with Dogman? We were both on we we both had our money on Dogman, I think. It's been so long ago. I, it's hard to remember. But yeah, so that's uh that's that's where we're sitting in the uh Twitterverse. Is that a place? Is that a thing? Again, that's uh twitter.com/countcrypted if you want to go and contribute to this week's poll. But over on Facebook, we have a tie. We have a tie. Yep, six yeah. votes. Three and three, Chupacabra, Dogman, neck and neck. Really? It's still going. If you want to break that tie, go ahead and do Is it, it now. Is it just infinitely open? It's going to be open forever until if I decide to delete it, but uh, I Actually, that's really cool. I would like to leave the... Is it, you have, is it real for all of them up on Facebook, too? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. That actually would be really cool to have like a running count of... like everyone who joins the Facebook group to be able to pitch in on any episode that they listen yeah. to. So then they'd be able to hopefully to at any time you're really listening cool. to the episode, you'll be able to fill out one of the polls, both of the polls. I'd like that on, on Facebook for sure. Yeah. Um, if, if you're, you're listening, listening to the most recent in 2020, one, please just go over to our Facebook page and fill out the polls. You think Facebook's going to exist in two years? Yeah. That's still probably years. will you're right okay. i say 2020 like is a long time in the distance because, it sounds like future but yeah, yeah that is a not. year and a half away damn the future is nigh thanks for checking out this week's episode if you want to get your two cents in answer this week's polls on social media you can find us on Twitter at Count Cryptid or Counting Cryptids on Facebook. If you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, or you just want to chat, you can email us at countingcryptids at hotmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and tell your friends. He's been Connor. 
He's been Jacob. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks for another fascinating installment of Counting Cryptids.